We're going to talk about truing. It's important to always true your gun for every gun profile that you have. Truing is done at 85 to 90 percent of transonic range. So you're not actually going into transonic, you're just testing it right before transonic. You can see it on this graph. You want to true at the end of supersonic, as close to transonic as you can get without passing into trans. We recommend a range within 15 percent. A lot of people ask us why they can't just use a chronograph and leave their muzzle velocity as is. And the muzzle velocity that you get from a chronograph is really accurate, especially magneto speed, lab radar. We love both of them so much that we actually sell them on our website. But when you true on your Kestrel, you're getting real world environmentals, the thing that the Kestrel does the best. So it is actually truing all of that together to give you those little points on the chart. So first, make sure that you have a good zero yard range. If you haven't had time to zero your gun, take the time to zero your gun. Anything you do without a good zero, it's gonna be garbage in, which will give you garbage out. Once you get a good zero, make sure you go through all the stages of crush, right? Capture your direction of fire, range the distance to your target, update your wind direction and wind speed, spin your Kestrel for environmentals, so after you've done the steps of crush, you're gonna go into your gun. Center button to get into your gun, which will highlight MV. Center button to go into muzzle velocity and scroll down once to get to Cal MV. When you hit that center button again, it's gonna be telling you up in the upper right hand corner what distance your gun, your particular gun profile is gonna to go to transonic. You want to true at the end of supersonic, as close to transonic as you can get without passing into trans. We recommend a range within 15%. So for this example, you should look for a good target at a range between 765 to 900 yards. Scroll down to range and change your range to 800 yards. Drop will now give you the elevation hold based on the current muzzle velocity and all other parameters. Fire two to three rounds to determine the actual elevation that you are impacting. The drop is telling me to hold 6.88, but our impact is 0.5 high. Scroll to highlight drop, then toggle to change to 6.3. Muzzle velocity will now adjust to equal 2751. Hit the sprocket to exit out of Calc MV. When you exit out, always accept your muzzle velocity cal. That's going to put all those environmental parameters and everything else that you just did and hold them in. Then you're good to go at any range that you want to go to. Now confirm your elevation on a target of two-thirds your truing distance. You have now trued this gun profile. Save your ammo and your time. Use a Kestrel. Your next step is to calculate your DSF.